Welcome to the Gauchi Show, take two. Sean Gauchi, Sean Gauchi, Sean Gauchi, and that was amazing. I was born in Melbourne. I grew up in the uh, hard streets of Kew and North Baldwin, so I've grown up in kind of the same area my whole life. I've got three siblings, all girls. My dad is a, a, a also a professional, was a former professional athlete. He was a jockey, and my mum was also an athlete when she was young, and she uh, was a dancer on Young Talent Time. I played footy pretty seriously, but I had to give it up because, you know, once I reached 15, 16, all the boys around me were, were shooting up and growing and getting bigger, and I just stayed the same size all the way through, so yeah, I had to give the footy up. When I was about 14 years old, one of my best mates, Dan Ganane, he actually uh, brought me over to train at Dominance and do a Muay Thai session. The way I got into MMA from Muay Thai was one time I, I remember I rolled with one of the teens and he just towered me up. I was very good at striking, but I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't compete with someone on the ground. And that kind of just opened up to me that like you need to be a complete fighter. My first professional fight, I, I, uh, I showed up to the venue, um, and I was expecting you know shin pads and and maybe big puffy gloves because it was an amateur fight. As I'm walking out, I'm finding out that no, it's in the four ounce gloves. There's elbows, there's knees to the head. Um, it's fair game. I'm actually happy that I was thrown into the deep end because. It's given me the confidence to fight on, on big shows like Hex Fight Series. Outside of MMA, I just I, I like to spend time with my family and my girlfriend. I also like to indulge in, in some video games. Um, I like Rocket League, I like Destiny 2, those sort of video games. I've travelled all over Australia and I've trained at a bunch of different really good gyms. Uh, I've also travelled internationally and I got the opportunity to train Team Alpha Male. I got to train obviously with those high level guys and I got to mix it up and although, you know, they were still getting the better of me in certain aspects, it was really good for me to feel comfortable with going against the, the high level guys and feeling like I can hold my own. My head coach is uh, Sam Greco and I've done a, a lot of training with him over the past like three to four years. He's obviously taught me a lot with the physical technicalities of fighting but one of the main things I think he's taught, uh, taught me is the mental side of fighting and everyone in everyday life goes through their own adversities but using that motto I'm a fighter and just being able to persevere and push through, um, that's kind of the main thing I picked up from Sammy as a coach. He's just really infectious and, and, and good to be around, you know, he's also taught me to be a bit meaner in the cage as well. I got diagnosed with an autoimmune condition uh, called ulcerative colitis where essentially the immune system um, starts attacking the large intestine um, and it's unrelenting, there's no cure for it so it's just a chronic condition you have to learn to manage. I spend most of my time uh, during 20, 20, 2020 and early 2021 in and out of hospital. I didn't really think that I was ever going to be able to fight again and I was actually told by some doctors that it's not a good idea to fight again. I've gone through a lot over the last three years and I'm putting a lot less pressure on myself. I'm just allowing myself to enjoy the moment and I'm allowing myself to want to be there at the end of the day when I fight and step into the cage and just enjoy it, regardless of the result. But I'm gonna win, but regardless of the result. <laughs> Sean Gauchin!